Hi there, my name is Yushira and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can create your very own bookings page on Super Profile. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can get started by connecting your own Google account by setting your availability and customizing your bookings page. After this, I'll give you a brief overview of your bookings dashboard and then walk you through our different tabs. Our different tabs being session tab, responses tab, and your settings tab. So let's just get right into it. So the first, time gonna, the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is connect my Google account by clicking on connect Google account right over here. So once I've done that, I can go ahead and choose which Google account I wanna connect. I wanna go ahead and connect this one, so I'm gonna click on it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and enable access by clicking on continue. And this is very important to do because this is how Super Profile will talk to your Google Calendar and let you set up different appointments. So now I'm gonna go ahead and define my availability. And this is completely up to you. You can also set several different shifts if you want. So for example, I would like my first shift on a Monday to be from 9 a.m. to 9.15 a.m. And I would like my second shift to be from, let's say, 9.30 a.m. to 9.45 a.m. So I can do that as well and I can add in as many as I would like, as I would like. And I can also delete them by clicking on this little trash icon over here. I can also change my time zone by finding the little change button over here and clicking on change. Now I can choose from a bunch of different time zones and set the one that works best for me. Once I'm satisfied, I'm gonna go ahead and click on next step over here. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and customize my bookings page. And this is what my users will see when they come onto my bookings page. So I have my display name over here, which is just my name. And I can also go ahead and choose my profile picture if I have any that I like and upload them. I can also go ahead and add in my tagline, which I'm gonna go ahead and type as here to help. The smiley face. And once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and click on setup. Now, Super Profile also suggests a few different sessions for you. So for example, you have your discovery call, your ask me anything call and your personal coaching call. But you can also customize these if you would like by clicking on customize sessions. But if you're also happy with this, you can go ahead and click on continue with these. Now I have my bookings dashboard. So as you can see over here, my screen is split into four parts. On the top over here, I have my tabs and my navigation. So I can just simply navigate through my tabs by clicking on them. And below over here, I have my bookings list, which is arguably one of the most important parts of my bookings page, because this is where I can see all of my information about my bookings. So I can see the name of the person who has booked a session with me, the type of session, the date, the time, it's all right over here. And I can also see my upcoming sessions, my important sessions, if I've starred any, my recurring sessions, my completed sessions, and my canceled sessions as well. If I have a bunch of sessions as well, I can go and individually search for them over here using our search bar right above. And I can also export this de uh, depending on the time range as well. And this will be emailed as a CSV file to my email connected to my super profile account. So on the top right over here, I can see a bunch of general statistics about my bookings page. So I can see my total bookings, my amount earned, my total views, my conversions as well. And if I don't know the definitions of these terms, not to worry, there's a quick tool tip over here next to each of the terms so that I can have a better understanding of these terms. Below that, I can also share my bookings uh, page with people by clicking on the share button. I can also embed my booking link page over here into my own website by clicking on embed booking page. So this is how I can share my super profile booking page with other people. Let's now move on to the sessions tab. So on this page, I have different information about my different types of calls. So the moment I have a discovery call, an ask me anything call and a personal coaching call. But if I also want to set up a new type of call, all I need to do is go ahead and click on new session right over here. So as you can see again, my screen is split into two. I, on the left side, I have my edit information where I can go ahead and customize what I want my screen to look like. And on the right side, I have, a, I have a live preview so I can see exactly what my customer would see upon going to my bookings page. And I can also toggle between desktop view and mobile view by simply clicking on it right over here for maximum accuracy. Now I'm gonna go ahead and title my session as Jira's Internet corner. I can also go ahead and add an emoji if I would like to do that. And I'm going to set my duration as 15 minutes for my call. You can also go ahead and add in a cover image or a video, but that's completely optional. And you can go ahead and add in a description as well. 
you can go ahead and also choose the location of your call i like google meet so i'm going to keep it as that but if you would like to go ahead and edit it you can just simply click on this little pencil icon to edit it you can choose between a bunch of different a uh, bunch of different avenues that we have for our calls you can also choose in person calls by the way that's another note so now you would also be setting up different types of schedules you can do that in your settings i'll explain how to do that a little bit later but at the moment i'm going to go ahead and choose my default setting uh, my default calendar you can also choose to make this a recurring session if that's something that you would like by simply turning on the toggle you can say for example repeats every 2 hours for a maximum of 3 sessions whatever suits you now you can also go ahead and set a pricing so you can choose between a fixed price you can let your customers decide their own price uh you can have a price per session and you can also allow free access so i'm going to go ahead and allow free access for this session particularly and i can also go ahead and get uh i can also go ahead and set a reschedule policy if i have one by turning on the toggle right over here if you have ratings and testimonials you can also click on setup right over here underneath uh your reschedule policy by clicking on setup Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and simply click on publish session. And there you go. You've set up your very own bookings page. Now, just a quick note over here that this is a paid feature and you will not be able to actually publish your bookings page unless you have already connected your card to Super Profile and are on our creator plan. Okay, so now that that's sorted, I'm going to go ahead and move on to our responses tab. So now on your responses tab, you'll be able to see that the screen is again split into three different sections. On the very top of here, you can determine which type of call you would like to see your data for. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Retira's Internet Corner just to make it uh, so that I can see the data for this specific type of call. Underneath over here, I can also see some general statistics. So, for example, my overall rating, my rating analysis, and my review analysis as well. Underneath that, I can go ahead and sort my data according to various different parameters. So I can see all of my reviews over here, my pinned reviews if I have any. I can search up individual reviews, and I can also sort based on uh, the time period that I've gotten the review. I can also filter according to different uh, the different ratings that I've gotten and the different tags that have been assigned to me over here. And I can also export all of this data as a CSV file. that will be sent to my email address that's been connected to this account. Now finally, let's move on to the settings tab. As you can see, my screen is again split into three different parts. On the left side, I have my navigation panel. In the middle, I have my information that's corresponding with what I've chosen on my navigation panel, and on the right side, I have a way to be able to preview my booking page. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started by explaining general. This is where I can choose my time zone. as we previously done if i want to change it at any point i can just come to settings go to general and change my time zone right up here i can also go ahead and gift a session to a friend and i can also go ahead and enable purchasing power parity which means that if any of my uh, if any of my booking links are paid and have a price of $7 that $7 will be adjusted for the person's country according to their own purchasing purchasing power I can also set up website embed by clicking on generate over here so I can embed my link in my own website. My bookings link in my own website. Sorry about that. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to customize page. Again, I can go ahead and edit my theme over here by clicking on edit. And this will help me basically change my display name, my tagline and my pattern as well for my page. So I quite like this yellow one over here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead with that. I can also go ahead and add in optional stuff such as about an about me section or an FAQ or even spotlight something. And this really helps your audience get to know you a little bit better and build trust with them. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and click on publish changes over here. All right. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and again show you availability. So now on my availability page, I can go ahead and simply customize my availability whenever I want by simply turning on and turning off the toggles as I please. But I can also go ahead and add in different schedules if I'd like. So if you remember while we were making our booking page, uh there was also an option to choose the type of schedule you would want, and I went ahead and chose my default schedule. But you can also go ahead and create a new schedule by clicking on new schedule over here. So give it a name. Go ahead and put in take 3 and click on create. And once I do that, I can simply go ahead and customize my availability according to 
whenever I please. Once I'm satisfied with that, I'll go ahead and click on save changes. So once that's done, I can also go ahead and customize date overrides and also block different dates by simply clicking on add date override and add an edit unavailability. So you would go ahead and use a date override when your availability changes for, from your daily hours on a specific date. So say for example, I'm not available tomorrow between 12.30 a.m. to 1.15 a.m. Uh, and I don't want anybody to be able to book a call with me just for tomorrow between this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this in and click on override when I'm satisfied. And I can also block dates for times when I'm completely unavailable. So for example, I'm going on a holiday for five days uh, I can go ahead and choose the range for which I will be unavailable and click on block dates. So now nobody will be able to book a time with me or a time slot with me during these dates. This way your calendar stays absolutely up to date and accurate all the time. Now let's talk about the calendar tab. So on this tab, I can go ahead and choose which calendar I would like to connect with my bookings link. So here I've connected my default calendar, but you can also go ahead and connect a new calendar through with a new email uh, by clicking on connect new calendar right over here. And you can go ahead and connect it by logging in to your Gmail. Now I'm going to talk about meeting apps. So if you remember previously, I'd mentioned that I personally prefer to take all of my meetings on Meet. But if I also like to go ahead and use Zoom, I can simply connect my Zoom over here by clicking on connect. Let's now talk about the Growth Tools tab. Here you can create and offer different discount coupons to your audience and also offer session recordings to them at a price. So that's everything you would need to know about the bookings tab. I hope that was very helpful. But if at any point you need any help or are struggling with something, you can reach out to us right over here on the bottom right corner of your screen through our chatbot. We're pretty responsive, uh, we're pretty responsive and we do love talking to you guys and getting your feedback on our product. So reach out to us whenever. All right. Thank you.